uh, I want to do something that I think is uh, important for the show this evening. Okay. Um, as, as many of you people probably know, NBC shows are actually broadcast in most areas by a local television station known as an affiliate. Okay? Right now, everybody who's watching the show is probably watching it on some NBC affiliate right. somewhere in America. And the owners of these affiliates are always sending me notes, you know, with their suggestions about how they'd like me to change this program. And, uh, well, since these local station owners wield a lot of power, I mean, pretty much without them, my show just goes off the air. Right. You know, I thought I'd help them out and actually do them a favor. You're not going to fire me, are you? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, that's on the list, yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm replacing you with Robo Andy. <laughs> uh, but, uh, no, I am, I am going to help out the affiliates tonight. Tonight, I've decided to take a little bit of time here at the top of the show and respond to several of these affiliate suggestions all at once in a little segment we're proud to call Pleasing the Affiliates. Now, first off, folks, uh, Dover, Delaware is a uh, big drag racing town, as you all know. So uh, our affiliate there, WDOV, has asked me to do more pieces about drag racing. Okay, well, tonight, you're a lucky night, Dover, because right now we're introducing a new segment where famous drag racers review today's hottest movies. That's right. Here's Nick Skelsey with a review of the movie Pauly. Take a look. Our next request comes from our affiliate in Detroit, Michigan, the car-making capital of the world. Now, a lot of workers there are threatened by increasing automation on assembly lines. It's a big worry for them. So the station has asked us to come up with something that will cheer up their audience. So folks, enjoy this scene where a robot gets chewed out by his foreman. You're stupid and you're lazy and I caught you flirting with a drill press, huh? Beep, beep. Beep, beep. And, and, and what's this? Pot? <laughs> Get your stone robot ass out of here and don't come back. God. I never uh, believed that we'd have one day the line, "Get your stoned robot ass out of here." I know. On television, I could tell right away that robot was high. <laughs> I can spot him a mile away. Oh, good Lord. All right. Our next request comes from our affiliate in Fayetteville, Arkansas, which is in the heart of the Ozarks. Now, they ask that we uh, show more scenes of senseless violence accompanied by banjo music. That's what's going to make them happy, so that's what we did. Take a look. Uh, Dr. Joyce, could you step around here for a second, please? Oh, surely. How can I help you? Well, you see, it's like this. Um... <clears throat> yeah, come on. Oh, yeah. By the way, Dr. Joyce is on the mend. We should tell people that. She's doing very she's well. She's going to be fine. She's, she's eating her mush herself now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let's face it. Max Weinberg is a big hero in New Jersey. And uh, the affiliate there called us to complain that apparently they don't see enough Max on the show. So we're going to take care of that right now and show this classic clip where you'll get to see twice as much Max as usual. Take a look. <laughs> Liz? 
is our director. You cut that off pretty quick. There's a lot more of that. All right. How you doing, man? Did you enjoy that? I'm, yeah, I just wonder why either one of them didn't take their glasses off. <laughs> they both left them on. Uh, well, you know. Get it. Maybe just to be able to see everything, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. It just seemed odd to me. I think the question is enough. <laughs> you don't okay. have to try and answer it, too. All right. It's too creepy. All right. Now, uh, I got a very interesting request a few weeks back from WKIB. It's our Evansville, Indiana affiliate. They asked me to tape an anniversary message for their weatherman, Johnny Dash, who apparently has been with the station for a long time. Well, supposedly, they took what I taped in rehearsal and they put it into a montage of all sorts of local people wishing him well. And I haven't seen how it turned out yet, but I understand. Did we just get this right now? It just came in? Okay, great. Let's, let's watch. Uh, we just got a copy of it, and I'm excited to see it. WKIB salutes meteorologist Johnny Dash for 25 years of great service. Happy 25th anniversary, Johnny. The news team wouldn't be the same without you. Hey, it's Keith Fernandez. Happy 25th from me and the Evansville Reds. From all of us here at the Chrysler Deli, happy 25th. From all of us here at Late Night, happy 20th anniversary, Johnny Dash. What's that, Conan? Happy 20th anniversary, Johnny Dash. Hi, I'm Johnny Dash, and I've been here 25 years. Happy 20th anniversary, Johnny Dash. Don't watch Conan. He's a moron. Happy 20th anniversary, Johnny Dash. He's a moron. He's a moron. He's a dumbass. He's a moron. Conan's a moron. I like this song. Johnny Dash. He's been doing WKIB's weather for 25 years. Conan. Hey, it's exposure, huh? Yeah. Good to be seen. Yeah. All right, and finally, ladies and gentlemen, from the heart of the Midwest, our affiliate in Chicago, Illinois, has a rather serious issue that it would like cleared up. Now, as you know, Chicago has a very large Irish population, many of whom are offended that the Great Chicago Fire is blamed on the cow of an Irish woman named Mrs. O'Leary. Now, they feel that this story only perpetuates negative Irish stereotypes, and they've asked Late Night to set the record straight. So, folks, we're going to present the true story of how the Great Chicago Fire of 1871 began, which will completely absolve the Irish community of any direct involvement. Enjoy. If the ocean was whiskey and I were a duck, I'd dive to the bottom and never come up. Wake up, you drunken old hag. A flying saucer is about to crash into your barn. You, you, you filthy leprechaun. I'd like to take just a moment to apologize for the crappiest special effects ever seen on TV. I don't know what you're apologizing about. <laughs> Man! <laughs> wow! You okay? Ooh, yeah, right. now I, I don't need to see that sudden impact or whatever it is. 
I've heard it's pretty much Deep just impact. that. Yeah. yeah. You see a wire holding a meteor, Woo. and then a flash pot. All right, folks, uh, we're going to uh, take a little break right now. When we come back, some professional television, courtesy of Michael J. Fox. So stick around. <laughs>